Grump in the Night is pretty perfect. This is a five-minute animated short film from 2022. It's directed by Chris Theorin, written by Theorin and Nicholas Theorin. And it is absolutely beautiful. The animation is stunning. I'll talk more about that in a moment. The sound effects are fantastic. The narrative is gorgeous. The spooky elements are fantastic. I will talk very briefly about it, and then I'll go into some spoilers as I discuss what happens at the end. It's about a man who goes downstairs in the middle of the night. The TV is on. There are cartoons. We have the three little pigs and the wolf, which is an absolute joy. And he turns the TV off. It keeps turning itself back on. And then something happens with the chair. And then a beer can floats along. And then things take an interesting direction. Clearly, there is something spooky and creepy happening. And I'll talk more about that again in a second. I really want to praise the animation, first of all, because it is absolutely stunning. Certain aspects are bordering on realistic. The chair looks very real. The TV looks fantastic. I like the character design as well. And the the light is beautiful. The, I particularly like the fact that the chair is yellow because when the lamp beside it is on, it really illuminates that yellow of the chair and kind of almost acts like another light source. And I think that that was a really good decision. The light from the TV as well looks, again, really realistic and so fantastic. The pacing is brilliant and it is kind of creepy for a little bit. And I will talk more about that now. So there will be spoilers from now to sum up very briefly before I game with spoilers. Incredible animation, beautiful story, creepy, moving, absolute perfection. If you have five minutes to spare, definitely check out Grump in the Night. I will now talk about what happens in the last probably less than a minute because I wasn't expecting it and it's beautiful. It seems like this is a straight up creepy horror animation about a ghost or a poltergeist in the front room, but that's not the case. And as I said, this is a, a big spoiler for what happens. There's a lot of chaos. The ghost is fighting with the remote control. The mother and child come down the stairs and everything is just completely out of control and then a picture frame smashes and we see in this picture frame the mother and father or husband and wife and their child standing around a chair and on this chair is obviously an older man and we realize that that ghost is actually the spirit of the old man of the father the grandfather and he just wants to have a beer with his son watch television watch cartoons with his grandson and it's it, it's beautiful and it's moving and it's a really nice way to say that if something peculiar happens around the home such as a tv turning itself on and off again well repeatedly turning itself on yes could be a technical malfunction but also it could be somebody letting you know that they're around i'm a spiritualist I 100% believe this. I 100%, well, my belief isn't that the spirit would move a beer can from one room to the next, but certainly interacting with technology, this is firmly within my belief. So it went from being a funny, slightly creepy animation to being a really moving story with a really lovely message. And I experienced a lot of emotions over a very short space of time. Needless to say, I thoroughly recommend Grump in the Night. I would be very happy to watch this again. I'm sure I will at some point. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. Definitely one that's worth checking out.